Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Devdatta Bhattacharya working as a scientist, I'm a microbiologist and working at ICMR RMRC Bhubaneswar. So, uh, I'll be uh, giving a lecture on introduction of food safety and foodborne diseases in the context of One Health. So, my lecture will cover introduction about the topic on food safety, food safety in the context of sustainable development goals 2030, food hazards and its type, foodborne illnesses, common foodborne pathogens, their source, symptoms and prevention, key principles of food hygiene and food safety in the context of One Health approach. The food safety as we all know refers to the routines in the preparation, handling and storage of food meant for to prevent foodborne illnesses and injury. Food hygiene is a scientific method or discipline that describes how to handle the food, prepare and store food in order to avoid its contamination which will result in foodborne illnesses. From the firm or field to factory to our table, food products encounter n number of health hazards during their entire journey or entire process of the supply chain. Food that we eat at our home or outside are, provides us necessary nutrients which are uh, required for our healthy growth, for our well-being and conduct of our everyday activities. However, we all at some point of our time in, the, in, in our lifespan are infected with some certain uh, foodborne pathogens and have fallen sick. A foodborne illness is a disease that is carried or transmit, transmitted to us by food. The sustainable development goal uh, of uh, 2030 by uh, United Nations consists of 17 goals are the blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all and call for actions by all countries poor rich and middle income to promote prosperity while protecting the planet. Food safety is fundamental to SDG 1 that is no poverty, 2 that is zero hunger, 3 that is good health and well-being, 6 that is clean water and sanitation, 8 that is decent work and economic growth, 12 that is responsible consumption and production, 17 that is partnerships for the goal. And any compromise of the food safety and hygiene will compromise the sustainable development goal set by WH, the United Nations. The Food Safety and Standard Act 2006 received the assent of President on 23rd August 2006 and is published for general information as Food Safety and Standard Act 2006 number 34 of 2006. It is an act to consolidate the laws relating to food and to establish the Food Safety and Standard Authority of India for laying down science-based standard for articles of food and to relate their manufacture, storage, distribution, sale and import to ensure availability of safe, wholesome food for human consumption and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. Complex and multiple operations in a food system increases the chance of contamination in the food products. By the time the food reaches us from the field to the plate, it has gone through several opportunities to become contaminated. Multiple foods handling from food grower to processor to supplier to finally us multiplies the chances of food contamination. At the source, food grower, food processor, food packaging through proper or improper or poor control methods or mishandling. Most if not all food products go through additional steps of warehousing and storage, distribution and retail thus adding to additional ladder for food to become contaminated. Finally, the food reaches the final uh, food processing facility or our homes and it is here that we need to protect it from the point of receiving through storage to its preparation for its intended use and up to consumption by us. Food hazards are the errors or carelessness in purchasing, receiving, storage, preparing, cooking, packaging, storage of cooked products and services in the food industry. Every food producers need to be aware of the fact that they are selling a food product which is a biological material and is therefore susceptible to degradation or spoilage by various sources. A food hazard is defined as 
a biological, chemical or physical agent in or condition of food with the potential to cause an adverse health effect. Food safety hazards are generally of three types, chemical, physical and biological. The chemical hazards include veterinary residues, uh, most of the farm, uh, the eggs are contaminated uh, from the uh, uh, this uh, uh, leftovers of the chicken or ducks or poultice, pesticide residues in the uh, field based products, non permissible food additives, excess of permissible food additives, cleaning chemicals which are used to clean the food products and adulterants that, the, that is added to the food to increase their value, increase their taste or increase their uh, saleable values. Physical hazards that are involved uh, in uh, food uh, foodborne uh, contamination that are the various uh, stone particles, uh, cigarette and beery ashes mixed with fruit, uh, the broken glass, uh, plastic, insects, hair or sometimes threads and some cotton fibers. And the most important uh, is the biological hazards that are caused by microorganisms or their to toxic metabolites which can cause illness when transmitted to humans through food. This includes bacteria, viruses, molds, naturally occurring toxins of by some bacteria and they are usually very small to see by a naked eye. Some of this can grow on food causing spoilers, other constitute a hazard to human through illness. The microorganisms which can contaminate the food are present everywhere. It is present in soil, it is present in water, plants, products, the utensils that we use, the equipments that are used for handling the food, the GI tract, the food handlers, animal feeds, animal heights, the air, dust everywhere. The most common foods which are likely to be contaminated are raw meat and poultry, raw eggs which are used in making the brownie cakes or uh, cookies, unpastured milk, raw shellfish, unwashed raw fruits and vegetables and un unpastured uh, fruit juices. Foodborne uh, illnesses are diseases commonly transmitted through ingested food. Foodborne diseases comprise a broad group of illnesses that may be caused by microbial pathogens, parasites, chemical contaminants or the biotoxin produced by these pathogens. Globally, it is estimated that about 600 million people fall sick due by eating contaminated food and 4.2 lakh die annually resulting in 33 million disability adjusted life years lost. Every year, India witnesses an estimated of 100 million foodborne illnesses and 1.2 lakh foodborne illness related uh, deaths and 8 million disability adjusted life years are lost. Foodborne illness outbreaks are acute diarrheal diseases account for nearly 40% of all reported outbreaks under as per the IDSP that is Integrated Disease Surveillance Program of the country during 2011 to 2017. Modes of foodborne illnesses are food infection or food poisoning which results from ingestion of live pathogenic organisms which multiply once they enter our body and the food intoxication some bacteria produce harmful toxins which are present in the food even if the pathogens are killed general rules of microorganism they are involved in the spoilage of the food or its products cause food to become inedible due to the change in color flavor order appearance or texture they grow to high levels and break down the food important food components. Common cell organisms that have reached high population that is around 10, 10 to the 5 to 10 to the 7 colony forming unit per gram and the different products have different spoil, uh, spoilage flora involved. The microorganisms have a S growth curve that the, it involves a lag phase where it get adjusted to the environment when it enters to the uh, human body, a exponential phase where it starts multiplying, a stationary phase where the growth is uh, stopped and the death phase where the, the cell starts uh, dying. In, the entire phase, uh, in this entire growth curve, the most important factors are water, food, the microorganisms need, correct temperature, time and sometimes oxygen for aerobic pathogens. When they get a suitable uh, environment which involving these factors they start multiplying in our body and 
cause start causing illnesses through various toxins or various other modes. Under favorable conditions, bacteria will multiply by dividing in two in every 20 to 30 minutes. A single cell of E. coli doubles itself in every 20 minutes. There are some the common foodborne pathogens that are involved in uh, food related uh, illnesses are of three types bacteria, viruses and parasites. Bacteria includes E. coli, Salmonella, Staphylococcus, Listeria, Campylobacter, uh, Sigella and Clostridium. Viruses it includes norovirus, rotavirus and hepatitis A. Parasites it include Cryptosporidium, Giardia and Cyclospora. Coming to the details how they cause, what is the source, clinical symptoms and prevention, we will start with E. coli and the common source for E. coli are raw undercooked meat and un unpasteurized milk. Clinical symptoms include uh, nausea, vomiting, bloody diarrhea or dysentery, abdominal cramps which last uh, for 5 to 10 days. It may cause death in children and in the elderly. How can we prevent it? Thoroughly cook meat, avoid unpasteurized milk. Wash hands carefully, wash fruits and vegetables that we eat, especially when they, uh, when those that will not be cooked. Clostridium botulinum or Clostridium parfringes, though it is found uh, in, in improperly canned food, in meats, ham, sausages and some seafood. Symptoms include diarrhea, fever, stomach tenderness or pain, loss of appetite and nausea. Prevention, how can we prevent it? Ensure that all foods are properly canned, uh, time temperature guidelines are followed. For the canned food, do not buy dented or damaged cans. Botulism uh, is, a, uh, is caused by the botulinum, uh, by Clostridium botulinum is a toxin and it is a neurotoxin and can be very fatal. Salmonella, the common sources are raw meats, poultry, milk, other dairy products and raw eggs. Symptoms include uh, diarrhea, abdominal pain and sometimes nausea and vomiting. Usually last for 12 to 24 hours in mild cases. How can we prevent it? Cool poultry products to internal temperature of 165 degree Fahrenheit. Avoid eating raw eggs. Avoid drinking unpasteurized milk. Staphylococcus aureus are uh, common sources are meat, poultry, eggs, raw salads, cream filled pastries. Symptoms include uh, again diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, abdominal cramp, which last uh, usually for 24 to 48 hours. Prepare food safely, wash fruits and vegetables well before eating or cooking, store food safely, cook refrigerated or freeze meat, poultry, fish and ready to eat foods within two, within two hours of bringing out of the, from the uh, cold temperature. Store food at 4 degree or colder. Listeria, it is found in soft cheese, unpasteurized milk and shellfish. Symptoms uh, are reported within 40 to 72 hours after eating the contaminated food and include fever, headache, nausea and vomiting. Can cause fetal and infant death. Prevention, wash hands after using the restroom, avoid drinking unpasteurized milk, wash vegetables or fruits thoroughly, wash hands after handling raw meat, seafood or poultry. Meat, poultry and fish products should be well cooked. Shigella species, uh, it is uh, found on hands, contaminated hands, eating infected food, shallowing contaminated water. The symptoms include diarrhea, sometimes bloody or dysentery, fever and stomach abdominal cramp. Symptoms usually begin in 1 to 2 days after infection and last for 7 days. How can we prevent it? Wash our hands with soap and water during key activities. Avoid unsafe water and uh, food. Do not prepare food if you are sick. Coming to the viral pathogens involved in foodborne illnesses, hepatitis A, common source are oral fecal uh, contact when hands are not washed thoroughly after using the restroom and contaminated food. Symptoms include loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting and fever. After two, 3 to 10 days uh, of the infection, the patients can develop jaundice and can lead to liver damage. Prevention, thoroughly wash your hands often. Wash after using the toilet before preparing food or eating and after changing a child's diaper. The hepatitis A vaccine can prevent infection with the virus. Rotavirus again it uh, infects through touch including contaminated food, toys and in, in utensils. The common clinical symptoms are fever, abdominal pain and vomiting followed by 3 to 7 days of watery diarrhea. 
again prevention can be done by washing the hands thoroughly and often especially after use of the toilets and there are vaccines uh, for prevention of rotavirus norovirus the source are uh, direct contact with an infected person contaminated food or water through contaminated surfaces and clinical symptoms includes diarrhea vomiting nausea stomach and stomach pain again uh, we can prevent uh, infection with norovirus by washing our hands uh, thoroughly and often rinse fruits and vegetables stay home when we are sick avoid pro uh, preparing the food when uh, there are symptoms of diarrhea the parasitic pathogens which are involved in food borne illnesses cryptosporidium parvium it again uh, spreads through contaminated water which are used for drinking or recreational water like uh, the swimming pools occasionally food uh, sources such as salads may serve as a vehicles for transmission clinical symptoms uh, includes watery diarrhea stomach cramps dehydration nausea vomiting fever and weight loss giardia lambia person to person or through contaminated water food surfaces or objects are the source of contamination contaminated drinking water or recreational water symptoms again include diarrhea gas foul smelling greasy stool stomach cramps nausea vomiting and dehydration and prevention again the common uh, modes of prevention are good uh, maintaining good hygiene avoid drinking contaminated water thoroughly washing hands often and minimize contact with animal stool especially for young animals the key principles of food hygiene as per who includes prevent pathogens from spreading from people pets and pets from contaminating the food separate raw and cooked foods to avoid cross contamination to kill pathogens cook food for appropriate amount of time and at the appropriate temperature food should be stored at proper temperature use only safe water and raw materials for preparing food come coming to the uh, the one health approach uh, for uh, which is uh, one uh, the one of the most important uh, component to have uh, to maintain the food safety and food hygiene it in the current scenario it is well recognized that human health is closely connected to animal and our surrounding environment rapid globalization increase in population and environmental degradation has increased the complexity of threat to public health system in appropriate use of antibiotics in livestock industries contributed largely to the antimicrobial resistance which has become a global public health emergency and rapid emergence of zoonotic diseases is anticipated to the encroachment into the wildlife habitat the recent outbreak or the recent pandemic of covid-19 which started in uh, 20 early 2020 in the country revealed that no public health problem is a local problem and it needs a global strategy mean contain it or to manage it emerging health risk must be addressed using a multisectoral approach engaging experts from human human health veterinary medicine environment infectious disease expert epidemiologist agriculture wildlife plant health and policy makers multi stakeholders coordination cooperation and information sharing can greatly contribute to the in, uh, improvement in food safety and public health authentic data on occurrence and the disease burden from food borne hazards through a systematic surveillance network combined with the knowledge of source attribution will be crucial in assessing cost and benefit of current intervention strategies adapting an one health approach where we bring in all the stakeholders under one umbrella in ensuring food safety and food hygiene will allow all countries to detect and combat the emerging disease at the human animal and environment interface and address food related public health emergencies in a better way the who global strategy food food safety 2022-2030 in 2020 a resolution titled strengthening efforts on food safety was adopted by the 7th 73rd world health or assembly in the resolution member states requested who to update the who global strategy for food safety to address current and emerging challenges incorporate new technologies and include innovative approaches for strengthening food safety systems and to submit a report for consideration by the 75th world health assembly in 2022 
In response to this request, the WHO Secretariat has prepared a draft WHO Global Strategy for Food Safety with the advice of the Technical Advisory Group on the Food Safety, Safer Food for Better Health. The vision of the draft strategy is to ensure that all people everywhere consume safe and healthy food so as to reduce the burden of foodborne diseases. These are the resources uh, which we have used and we, we, which can be uh, studied for get further information on uh, foodborne illnesses, foodborne pathogens, food hygiene. In the present scenario of rapid emergence and re-emergence of pathogens, we must realize that food safety is a shared responsibility. It depends on all of us to come forward and take necessary actions at our level at policymakers level, at uh, administrative level to ensure the food safety is maintained. So let team up for the food safety. For any further uh, query, you may contact me in the, this uh, email IDs. Thank you.